Welcome back to Hackerone. In this video, we're going to look at a little problem, Kate Small Sermon in the Binary Search Tree. This problem is an excellent way to deepen your understanding of BST properties and its traversal techniques. Let's dive in. So given the root of a binary search tree and integer k, written the kth smallest value of all the values of the nodes in the tree. So here the question is very simple. This requires us to find the kth smallest element in the binary search tree. From the properties of BST, we know that the left tree contains the nodes with a value less than the root and the right subtree contains the nodes with the value greater than the root. We can leverage inner traversal to solve this problem efficiently. So inner traversal uh, recursively visits the left subtree with the root node and then the right subtree. So here, so let's look at the examples here. So here this is again BST and k is equals to 1. This means that we need to return the first smallest value of all the values of the nodes in the tree. So here, uh, since k is equals to 1, we need to return 1 because this is the first smallest value, right? And here in example 2, uh, the k is 3. So here we need to return the third smallest value. That means that uh, when we, uh, basically when we are in ascending order, we need to pick the third one. So that is uh, here, uh, the third smallest value is a 3, right? So here output is 3. So constraints. So number of nodes in the tree is n and k and n lies in the negative range of 1 to 10 power 4. Node values lies in the negative range of 0 to 10 power 4. So here this is the given uh, boilerplate code. They just given the kth smallest uh, method uh, which uh, takes root and k as a uh, input parameters and returns the integer. So let's look at the approach. So to find those kth smallest element we can use in order traversal of a BST. The in order traversal of a BST which is the nodes in ascending order making it ideal for this task. We'll maintain the counter to keep track of the number of nodes visited so far and return the kth node when the uh, counter reaches k. So, so let's look into the algorithm. So here first we need to perform the in order traversal of a binary tree and then we need to maintain a count of nodes we visited. When the count equals k record the value and then we return the recorded value after the traversal is complete. So let's look in the flowchart. So first uh, the program starts with a call to the kth smallest which takes the root and the k and then as per our algorithm we initialize count to zero and result to none and then we define another method which is called in order traversal which takes root and k as an input parameter and then this uh, this is a recursive function so here uh, it first checks uh, is node null uh, and then if s we return if no uh, we just traverse the tree in our fashion so first we traverse the left step tree and then we use the current node and then we increment the counter uh, and then we check if count is equals to k uh, if s we return the we just set uh, if s we set the value to the node dot value and then we end the traversal and we return the result if this count is not equal to k and then we just traverse the right subtree and repeat the process so dry run so consider the uh, tree uh, this one and then k is equals to 1 so here we first traverse to the uh, left subtree of 3 so that is we go to 1 and then uh, we traverse the left subtree of 1 which is none so we return and then uh, we visit the 1 and then we increment the count which is count is equal to 1 now so that equal to k so we return the result that is uh, we return 1 right uh, so we don't need to traverse the uh, right subtree of the 1 and the right subtree of the, the 3 because we got our uh, count is equal to k uh, so it means that uh, we, we are traversed enough to return the result right so that's why uh, we just written from here so this is an optimization here so so that's look the code so here uh, we have the given method k is smallest which takes the root and the k and returns the integer uh, so here uh, we've just initialized the count to zero this uh, helpful for maintaining the count of the nodes visited so far and this the uh, initializing the result variable to none this helpful for uh, holding the result and then next is we just uh, define uh, we just call a, a method in our traversal which is defined here so here in our traversal is the base check uh, where if node is none we just return and then uh, uh, basically we does the in order traversal here if node is not none so we visit the left subtree first uh, so we send node dot left and k here and then after that we visit the current node uh, so basically this is the processing of the current node so here we increment the count and then we check if the count equal to k if s we just set the result variable to the node dot value and then we return and then uh, if this is not the case we just start the right sub tree and then we uh, just send the node dot right and k so after this we send the result as a self dot uh, result so hope you got the idea of the code 
So complexity analysis, the time complexity is O of n, in the worst case where n is the number of nodes in the BST, in average case it can be a better due to the early termination where when the kth element is found. So space complexity is O of h, where h is the height of the tree due to the recursion stack. Then on conclusion, so I've got the code ready here, let's try submitting this. So yeah, so yeah, it beats almost 62% of the users with Python, so the better solution. Conclusion, finding the kth smallest element in a BST is a common problem that can be efficiently solved using the in order traversal. This approach leverages the inherent properties of the BST to deliver an optimal solution. By understanding this technique, you can apply similar strategies to solve similar related problems in the variant trees and improve your problem solving skills in the rare structures. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Hackwood. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding tutorials and bounce on tips. If you have any questions, subscribe to the topics, please leave it in the comments below. Until next time, have a good